The Wizard of Oz. Who is behind the curtain? What power do they have? And do you bow down to that power? That's what we're talking about in today's video. So hello everyone. My name is Autumn Macedo and I am a coach to help you realize that you have strength within you to find your true self. And that's what we're talking about. Finding your inner strength because the Wizard of Oz is but a weak, weak little person behind a curtain. We may have heard the Wizard of Oz referenced in recent times to describe the events of the world and the response by the government and world leaders. For those of you who are unfamiliar with this reference, The Wizard of Oz is a movie from 1939 that many of us saw when we were younger. It's about a woman named Dorothy who becomes unconscious and dreams of a fantasy world that seems real. She wants to return home, but only the Wizard of Oz is able to grant this wish. Upon meeting the wizard, who seems great and mighty, Dorothy's dog pulls back a curtain and reveals the wizard, who is a con man operating a machine to make himself look more powerful than he actually is. She later finds out that she didn't need the wizard to return home, as she had the power within her the entire time. All she had to do was tap her heels together three times and say, there's no place like home. What can you take away from the story of the Wizard of Oz, and how does it relate to the events that have occurred in the world over the past few years? Can you see the true meaning of what's been going on in the world and apply the lessons from the story to your own life? Surely, you can see some. Many world leaders portray themselves as high and mighty. Their motto is essentially, listen to me since I know the way, or else. These people have an inflated ego living only to control and dominate others since it makes them feel powerful and mighty. But deep down at their core is an immature child crying out for attention. These people are the world leaders, governors, mayors, presidents, prime ministers, etc. They make themselves move into a high-level position to make up for the lack of confidence and happiness they possess within their own life. So the whole reference of The Wizard of Oz comes down to the movie, where there is this big and mighty powerful wizard that will return Dorothy to her home. She doesn't realize that she has the power to return home herself. She has the power within her. And that big and mighty powerful wizard is nothing more than a con man. Someone who is just operating machinery behind a curtain to make it look big and powerful. Now that may sound very familiar to a lot of things going on in the world. A lot of your government officials and people who give you orders, they sound all high and mighty like, follow me, do what I say, or there's going to be consequences when they actually, they, they actually have no power over you. Because your own body is your own possession. No one has any right to tell you what to do with it. No one has any right to tell you how to live your life. You always have the power within you. So when you feel all weak, that you can't accomplish anything, you have to realize that you do have strength within you. Since 2020, you've been told lie after lie by people you may have trusted. If you believed your news sources to be unbiased and telling the truth, you were in for a rude awakening. Likewise, if you trusted your political leaders to guide you to safety, you were also in for a rude awakening. For you see, Everything you've been told, you've realized, has been a complete lie. You've trusted others to make decisions on your behalf, to lead you to safety. Yet, they let you down. They lied to you, deceived you for their own personal gain. Do you feel like you've been conned? Many people feel like they can no longer trust the news or their government officials, and for good reason. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Yet, the fooling didn't stop at two, three, or even four. Rather, it's been constant lies since before you were even born. Many of the things you've learned about were taught, and your way of life has been a lie from the very beginning. You have the power within you. You cannot depend on someone else to save you, since no one is coming to your rescue. Rather, they will only lead you more and more towards a place of darkness and despair with no light in sight. They have taken away everything away from you by making you live in fear and giving your trust to an outside source. When you live in fear, you don't think rationally. 
end. With this irrational thinking comes giving your energy and trust to an external source, rather than trusting yourself and your intuition. When you stray away from your intuition and yourself, you become disconnected from yourself, your true self, your higher self, and instead live more and more in the ego. And when this happens, you become more fearful, gullible, emotional, and worst of all, separated from yourself and the world. The term divide and conquer comes to mind, doesn't it? By dividing you from your fellow human beings, the world leaders can conquer you and decide what is best for your body and life instead of you deciding for yourself. When this happens, you've lost what makes you human as you've given up every fundamental right you had, giving more power to your controllers and abusers. This is all due to you complying because of the fear that has been instilled within you and not realizing that you had the power within you the entire time. The best thing you can do is let go of fear and connect with your true self. Don't let others make decisions for you or coerce you into doing things. Rather, realize your inner strength and assert yourself. You are stronger than any world leader, celebrity, and anyone else that you think are better than you since you've made them look like the big mighty wizard who controls your life when all they are is a scared little baby in hiding because they are ashamed of themselves. Be strong and you will realize the power you have. Let me know how this works for you. Have a great day. I used to feel as though I didn't have any sort of power, that I had to bow down to other people to lead me in some sort of way to be able to accomplish something. I always looked at other people to resolve my problems instead of looking to resolve them myself. And that was the problem. See, the truth is, you have the power within you. If you want to know the answer, it's like, I don't know the answer to this. I don't know what I want to do with my life. Is someone else going to give you that answer? They can try to give you some sort of answer, but is that really what you want to do? Is that really what's going to make you happy? The answers always come from within you. No matter what, you can look, on, look out in the outside world all that you like. You will never find the answer that you're seeking because the answer always comes from within. What makes you happy is not out there. It's within here. That is what makes you happy. That is what makes you satisfied in life. It makes you feel as though you are living your purpose. You have to be the one to realize that. You have to be the one to discover who you truly are and stand up and realize that you have the power and that you've had the power that your entire time. So stop looking to the outside world and start looking within. Be sure to check out the amazing merchandise over at Asphodel Shop for some inspiring designs. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Also become a member of $5 up and above to get early access to new content weeks and months ahead of anyone else before it's made public. I want to thank you also very much for tuning into this video. Let me know how this has helped you. Let me know what sort of things that you have found the strength within you after checking out this information. So thank you all so very much for tuning in, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.